Dogs Eric from Eric from Superstar Blog. So I wanted to re- uh, do a review of the Rare Vision VHS recorder app for the iPhone. So essentially, this is what it looks like. You could push in the top left corner, touch the selfie mode, and then bada bing, bada boom, you could uh, look at the different views, and you could see me. This is me, and click through the menu. And there's so many different things you could do. You could show the date on the recording spoof the recording date, video filters. I personally like this uh, nuclear version. You can also change the button type from consumer to professional. And usually what I just do is keep this on 720p. You can keep it at 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, and you can change the, the FPS. And essentially it's, uh, it's really cool because for me, it kind of gives me the chance to use your artistic abilities to different ways. So for example, you could look at scenes, you could kind of zoom in, zoom out. Uh, You could even turn on the light, which is kind of cool. And there's so many different settings that you could do. And I think ultimately it just, it's just another good way to be a visual artist and to uh, think about ways you could see and perceive the world. So uh, this is also a good solution for if you want to start getting to more video and let's say you just have an iPhone or you have an older iPhone and your the quality of your thing isn't so good, then you could use this VHS cam, which is really awesome because it intentionally doesn't focus on image quality. It focus, it actually makes your images look uglier or worse, but I think aesthetically it actually looks nicer. Often the, the biggest issue with shooting videos on a smartphone is that it's a little bit too clean and a little bit too nice. So I personally find that actually using certain apps which kind of you know glitch or screw up or add more grain grit or inconsistencies is actually more interesting so you often see this like vhs effect there's actually the date stamp in the bottom left corner which i actually find surprisingly useful you could add random captions uh to the to the center and even if you wanted to take a photo where it says record you just push and hold record and it actually takes um, a photograph So it's just kind of a very interesting way to think about um, photography in a different way. And even something I like to do is sometimes I'll just watch the video and I'll just kind of scrub through the video and find little scenes that I like. And this is actually kind of like a way you could do double dipping with photography is that, you know, I was like looking around, looking around, see something cool. And then let's say I see something nice and I could just pause it and then you could do a screenshot of this. And so you could see even the video that I shot, I was in the Japanese Zen garden. I did these nice little screenshots of the, the fishies. So it's just another way that you could incorporate video into your personal you know, artistic output. And you can see <laughs> when you push and hold the, the, the record button, it just takes a snapshot. So in anyways, I, I, I personally love it. It's like three bucks. I think it's totally worth it. It's like, less than a coffee nowadays so just check it out and use it as a form to experiment the more and more i shoot i use the iphone the more and more i sort of realize it's kind of like one of the ultimate tools for visual artists so just kind of experiment more with it and um and yeah uh, this is also another practical tip whenever it comes to any camera apps or video apps on the iphone or whatever creative tools don't buy stuff that's don't use stuff that's free because there's usually all these annoying hidden ads on and stuff like that Better to just spend a few bucks here and there, support the developers, and drive as a visual artist. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.